And so he didn't want to leave the club as free agent, to respect the institution, to respect the club. So really, chapeau to Camavinga. Hey guys, what's up? Merry Christmas from Fabrizio Romano. Super happy to share with you contents also on Christmas Day. So enjoy your families, enjoy your time, relax. And I really hope you are loving this Christmas. But today I want to talk to you in our behind the scenes for this period about my three favorite transfer stories of the year. So three transfer stories that I really loved and I want to bring you with me into this kind of contents too. So let's do it and again, Merry Christmas. Guys, my favorite transfer story of the year is about this Boy, Eduardo Camavinga. He joined Real Madrid from Ren in the summer, but behind this story, behind this transfer, there is something special because Camavinga was out of contract with Ren in June 2022. He had many and many proposals from Manchester United, from Paris Saint Germain, and also, of course, from Real Madrid. So he had the chance to wait for January 2022 and sign as free agent, receiving a lot of money much more than what he received moving to Real Madrid in August. He had the opportunity to his agent too, to receive a lot of money. So when you move as free agent, you're receiving much more money than when you're doing a normal transfer. Why he decided to go to Real Madrid in August? It was directly decided by the player. He wanted to join Real Madrid in August, first of all, because he was proud about Real Madrid's interest, of course. But second, because he wanted Ren to receive money from his transfer to respect the club that helped Camavinga and his family in a difficult moment because they were refugees and they were coming from Angola in Africa and Ren helped him to become one of the best talented and most talented players in the world and one of the best talents in the world. And so he didn't want to leave the club as free agent, to respect the institution, to respect the club. So really, chapeau to Kamavinga and I really love this story and I'm super happy that he's doing great with Real Madrid and same for his agent that helped it in this move. Second, I say, guys, Konate to Liverpool. And this one is because of the strategy. I really loved the strategy from Liverpool. I think sometimes they're really underrated on what they're doing in the transfer market because, for example, they didn't sign any other player in the summer. But with Konate, they found the top centre-back because this boy is very good with the perfect strategy. They paid the close in April. So they were super fast with this story. They found an agreement with the player and they were very fast because Chelsea were also interested in Konate. But the strategy finding an agreement with a player and then paying the close was absolutely perfect. So I loved the timing from Liverpool and congrats because in my opinion, they signed a fantastic player. And then I want to complete with Martin Odgaard because I think he's really, really underrated transfer. Arsenal always wanted him. We had a lot of rumors, Madison and many other players. Arsenal always wanted Odgaard and it's not easy to find this kind of talent on the market. So they were waiting because at the beginning of the new season, Real Madrid were not open to sell him. But then at the end, the player wanted to leave. Arsenal were super happy with him since they had him on loan and he was very good. And so they had a perfect strategy to wait and wait and wait. And then at the end of the market, they signed him on a permanent move. It was a perfect deal for Arsenal. And so really congrats to them because now he's doing great. But also in this case, the strategy was very good. And I'm convinced that this player is going to be a special one for the future. And I wait guys now for your favorite transfer story of the year. Send me here your favorite time reading your comments. Remember to subscribe to the channel, to turn on the notification bell, to like this video and to enjoy your Christmas with your families. Uh, so I really wish you a fantastic Christmas, fantastic holidays and see you soon as always, every single day here on the channel with Fabrizio. Thank you guys and see you soon.